Racing leads to a lot of interesting innovations, and some of those stories can be found here at PRI 2014. I'm in the MSD booth, and I'm standing here with Chris Bovis from Weld Racing and Larry from Larson Race Cars. We are standing in front of the fastest street car in the world. Larry, you built this thing for Drag Week. Tell me, tell me how this came to be. Oh, we did this. Uh, I wasn't happy with uh, Hot Rod's rules for this thing. Uh, they were trying to get away from the steel cars, or everybody's going to the Pro Mod cars. So. I built this basically to uh, hopefully they'd pull the reins in on the rules, but uh, essentially they made another class for the cars like my Chevy 2, which had won five years in a row. Uh, the steel cars, which I feel like is, is a real street car. This thing is more of a pro-modified car that's been made to run on the street. Okay, so you were driving this car as well? Yeah, uh, this thing, we about three weeks ago in Vegas, we took it out there to the uh, Street Car Super Nationals, and my goal originally was to run in the fives at 250, and we got the, the five part done. It went 595 at 244, so uh, we'll wait till the spring and see if we can pull off the, the 250 mile an hour feet. Awesome. Now, Larry, tell me a little bit about the wheels on this car. I know that was a work in progress working together with Weld. Yes, I uh, worked with Weld over the years on some other projects, and I talked to one of the guys there and told him what I was wanting to do, and and uh, it was going to involve taking the, the spindle mount wheel off and, and splitting the brakes every time, every day when we changed from street tires to race tires, and he wasn't comfortable with that, so they put their heads together and uh, came up with this new design wheel, and man, it just has been awesome. It, 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 it really made things a lot nicer. Definitely. Well, it sounds like it, it worked for you guys, because obviously big results from uh, Drag Week for you guys. Thanks for telling us about your car. And we happen to have Chris Bovis here from Weld Racing. I want to hear a little bit more about the development of this wheel. Sure, as Larry mentioned, you know, Drag Week has some really unique challenges to it, being able to, uh, you know, take a car like this and drive it from racetrack to racetrack and then be able to do what Larry's been able to do on track with it. It's a very, very difficult challenge. So what we were able to do, take some very common rim shells that we, that we currently produce every day, machine them a little bit differently, and we took a standard Alumistar front wheel um, and we machined it down, put five, five holes in it. And so basically with just five bolts, Larry can take off the drag set of tires and put on the street set of tires and have really fast quick changes and get him back on the street or back on the track correctly and as quickly as possible. Very cool. Now, obviously, this is a, a custom job. Can we get our hands on these wheels? What we've decided to do in honor of Larry's uh, 6.16 pass, which he's since gone an awful lot faster, we've come out with a very limited edition um, Alumistar 6.16, and there's, again, very limited quantity, so they're going very, very fast. So you need to call well uh, quickly or call your dealer quickly to get in on this deal because they won't be offered again. 6.16, only a few left. You heard it. Call quick if you want to get your hands on them. And since Larry's going faster now, they're going to have to rename them for next year. John Trousdale here at uh, PRI 2014 with uh, Chris and Larry and the fastest streetcar in the world.